So Little Mix bandmate Jade is speaking out about what she has gone through and her ordeals and they are just very, just very shocking indeed. Hey you guys, this is Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Subscribe to the channel and let's get into this video and hopefully you guys are all staying safe and well. So I did a video earlier today on Leanne who also spoke out on you know the ordeals and what she was going through and the harshness of just the reality of in-depth institutionalized music industry related racism and now we have Jade who also is doing the same thing but her accounts seem to be really shocking the 2011 finalist and obviously Little Mix member Jade whose background is Arab she has um, her grandfather is Yemeni um, and her grandmother is Egyptian um, said that she felt ashamed of her background now I'm also half um, Yemeni so I'm not entirely sure where she's from in Yemen but that's Pretty cool to know but she says when i went to secondary school i was literally one of the three people of color in the school i remember one time i got pinned down in the toilets and they put a bindi spot on my forehead it was horrific i've constantly had this inner battle of not really knowing who i am or where i fit in or what community i fit into she said the singer recalled that she would put white powder on her face to whiten herself when performing on stage at her school after joining Little Mix, she subconsciously did not want to talk about her heritage for fear of being disliked. That kind of um, thought pattern that you've created in your head that let me not talk about who I am and what I am because I've associated it with being disliked because of the societally conditioned world that I have grown up in is just what it can do to you is is just crazy man. I think because I was bullied quite badly in school because of the colour of my skin and for being Arab, I wasn't very proud of who I was. I would hate to talk about my race and heritage and not say the right things. So this is something that she spoke about a couple of days ago and she just talks about just the horrific bullying that she really went through and the fact that she got pinned down in school guys. That to me man is crazy because it's just, uh, it's just a lot. But I'm glad that she's speaking out. I'm glad that you know we have people speaking out about you know whether it be black, whether it be Asian or be Arab, um, people who are in these groups and they go on to be very famous. Because um, I don't, although I don't listen to them at all, to be honest with you, they are a massively successful group from the show. You can't deny that. And you know Jade being from Arab heritage, we had Leanne speaking, you know, being as a mixed race woman as well, and then describing her, you know, as you're gonna work ten times harder as a black girl, but she obviously, you know, is mixed race. If she was a dark skinned black girl, it would have been even more worse and then we have Jade speaking you know as an Arab girl and what she went through not only in her childhood but when it came to being in the music industry and when it came to working um, as part of this group she just felt like she didn't want to talk about where she's from and she wanted to keep that ambiguous so that it didn't curtail her success and that kind of neural pattern pathway that you have conditioned and created is very damaging to your self-esteem because of the world that you've grown up in and you know the experience is that you listen bullying and being bullied in, in secondary school to such an extreme extent can really really mess up your whole entire life it really can go left because of the trauma that you've received being pinned down people are putting spots on you pretending you're xyz like physical kind of it's just derogatory and it's really really scary and damaging and how she that kind of continued on when it came to her career and she didn't really want to speak about where she's from or you know her heritage not really and we don't really see many people do that anyway especially when it comes to their heritage so that in itself i find to be very interesting but she is talking about you know being arab and how hard it was for her and she is the second member of the group to do so and i feel like um you know both of the only people of color um in the group and i'm here for it it's not not an easy thing to do and sometimes you feel a little bit embarrassed talking about it as well um so i'm i commend her for doing so and it's just very difficult so maybe we'll see a lot more members of bands speaking out in the future maybe this is started this theme because we've seen keisha from sugar babe we've seen both these girls from little mix as well maybe you know we'll i think mel b has spoken out from a sp i don't know if she has i think she might have but maybe zayn malik will speak out as well subscribe to the channel let me know what your thoughts are and i'll catch you guys soon for another video